Hey, brothers and sisters, uh, greetings today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm smiling because this is like my 50th attempt to try to do this uh, thing today. And and you wouldn't believe, I should do an outtake. That'd be kind of a fun thing to do. But anyways, uh, I'm wearing my uh, Point Pride t-shirt, Quincy Point Pride. And I know it's been a few weeks since we've communicated this way. And, and my goal is to do it every other week. And I'm still working on that. I love to do it every week, but I think for now, I just can get what I can get done. But I'm wearing the t-shirt today to remind us, uh, to remind me that God has called me to serve in this area. I think, uh, you know, we're in annual meeting time and maybe you've had it already, or you haven't had it. Uh, the church year ended in March and so April is a time of uh, gathering statistics and doing reports and all those wonderful, wonderful things that uh, make our job a joy. And I know some of it we have to do, and, and some of it doesn't make any sense, and somewhere, somewhere, someone has thought of all these things. But I want to remind you today that God has called you to be where he has you right now, that you are uniquely gifted, uh, you are uniquely strengthened, uh, your personalities, your gift mix, your strengths, uh, the areas that God has equipped you in is needed for the place that he has called you to serve. Sometimes we need to be reminded about that, especially at the end of one year going into another year. Because it can be, you know, these reports can be overwhelming because they can get us to focus on numbers. And I'm not saying that numbers aren't important because they are, obviously. But uh, what's more important, what's more significant to me is that for you to know that God has called you and equipped you and he will strengthen you according to his power that is at work within you. Uh, two things. I want to read scripture in a moment, but... Uh, one of the things I've been working on in my devotional life is to light a candle. So my time that I spend with the Lord, I'm um, lighting a candle. I did that in my prayer retreat. I'm trying to do that on a more regular basis. I light a candle and it represents the presence of Christ. And I got to tell you, my brothers and sisters, it means a lot. It means a great deal as I'm kind of working through some things and some challenges and some struggles and just seeking direction. And, you know, you're kind of in the middle of stuff and uh, to know that, he is present with me. And this is maybe a simple reminder, but it's a powerful reminder that God, he is present with us in Christ. Another way that he is present with us is through his word. Let me read Ephesians 3, verse 16. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you be rooted and established in what? In love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Let's pray. Father, today, I thank you for these pastors and leaders, uh, men and women who love you and are seeking to serve and fulfill their calling, your calling upon their hearts and in their lives. I pray that you will strengthen them through their inner being. I pray that the reality of this scripture uh, may be rooted and may they may be experienced and engaged in every fiber of their being. I thank you, Lord, that uh, you have called them uh, to the place that they serve. I guess anyone can wear a t-shirt. Anyone can wear something that has the name of the place that we are called to serve. Uh, but Lord, really, it's not about wearing a t-shirt, although those are good reminders but it's about knowing that you have called us. And I thank you, God, that you have called these men and women. Some may be discouraged today, encourage them. Uh, some may be seeking for wisdom and discernment, Lord. I pray that you would grant that wisdom and discernment beyond their years. Some may be lonely. Some may be thinking that they're in this by themselves. Would you come beside them and let them know, God, that they are not by themselves, but you are there with them, even through lighting a candle to represent your presence. So Lord, strengthen them, I pray, in your name. Paul goes on to write, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or even imagine, according to what? His power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Love you. Blessings on you. And uh, I will hopefully do this in another couple of weeks. But you are deeply loved and prayed for. I love you guys. Blessings. Bye.